again and today I'm making these really quick and easy Halloween themed treat boxes using the new pillow box die um, and I got the inspiration to create these from a card that I made um, showcasing the new stamp set Booyah and I really like the coloring that I did on it so I thought you know why not try to make some really cute pillow boxes so I'm using Booyah and it's coordinating dies and I'm also going to be using this new pillow box die here that I think is awesome. So um, I'm going to need to use some watercolor paper so I'm just taking my Strathmore um, watercolor paper pad and I'm taking um, off a little piece here um, of the watercolor paper. I think it's a 110 pound um, weight so it is really thick and I wasn't sure exactly um, you know if it wasn't going to adhere together um, that easy but it does so it works out really well and I kind of like how sturdy the pillow box ends up being with this really thick cardstock. So I'm um, cutting one of them out here on the cuddle bug and off camera I went ahead and cut out two more. So what I'm going to do is take some low tack tape here and I'm just going to mask off a little bit because I just want a little strip of watercolor. I didn't want the watercolor to be all over the place all over the pillow box because um, I don't know I just thought it would look a little bit cleaner if I was to do it this way. So I'm just adhering it down to um, the clipboard here so that um, when I do the watercoloring and then apply some heat it won't there won't be that much warping. So right now I'm just using the colors um, Dusty Concord and Black Soot and first I went ahead and applied my wash so that I could lay this color down and it'll start to spread beautifully on its own. So right now I'm using the Dusty Concord. I just added a little bit here because I wasn't too sure how light or how dark I wanted to go with it. So I'm just taking my heat tool and I'm going to go ahead and set this um, first application of color down. And after this I'm just going to go ahead and start adding more color. Now once the watercoloring was done, I went ahead and off camera did the last two with the same exact technique. So now I'm going to go ahead and take the really cute stamp set and I'm going to start stamping out the little ghost images here. So since I have three of the pillow boxes, I'm going to go ahead and stamp out three of these little ghosts and um, some of the coordinating happy faces and little um, hats that go perfectly with these little ghost images. I think they're so cute. And I think this project would be really fun also to do with um, children and things like that. Um, usually for the holidays I like to have my niece over so that um, we can make a, a couple little treat boxes and things like that for her classmates and her friends to give out. So I know she always has a lot of fun doing that so this is something that you could make for your kids to give out or you could make them and give them out on your own or you know you could have um, your kids um, make these and then give them out to their friends. I just think it's really fun when you get kids involved with um, this stamping and things like that because I know that they 
usually like to play with our stamps too, but we're like, no, but <laughs> um, I, I usually allow my, nie my niece to um, like create with me and stuff like that for holidays and that's usually the only time I let her play with my stamps. <laughs> Um, so now I'm just going to go ahead and start coloring these little ghost images here. And since I want them to be white, I'm just going to take a really light gray marker and kind of add a little bit over here to the left side of it just to give it a little bit of shadow. And just so that it stands out like a, that it's really like um, a white ghost image. And now I'm just going to take my clear blender and try to just blend that in a little bit. Gonna go ahead and add some cheeks. <laughs> I think that's really cute. And then now I'm just gonna go ahead and color in the rest of the images. Okay, and now that the coloring is done, I'm just going to go ahead and locate the coordinating dies for each image. And I'm going to go ahead and cut those out using my cuddle bug off camera just to save some time. Um, now that all the images are cut out, I think they look so cute, I'm just going to go ahead and apply all the little hats and accessories and things like that on top of the ghost or the ghost images. And I'm using, the, uh, I'm using liquid glue here just so that I could kind of position it exactly where I want to. And now I'm just going to go ahead and take some 3D adhesive foam and I'm going to apply that to the back of the images here because I do want there to be some um, like dimension between the pillow box and the images. I, I just think that looks really great. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and fold this just so I could get a look at exactly where to place it and then so I could also um, know how much room I have for the sentiment. So I'm going to be stamping Happy Halloween, um, but there's so many different sentiments in this set um, that you could use, or you could use an alphabet set to create um, a custom sentiment or something like that. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and use Happy Halloween. I'm going to be stamping that in some black uh, Memento Tuxedo Black ink. I'm just getting them all ready here to be stamped. And what I really love about the sentiments in this set is that a lot of them are separate so that you could create a variety. Okay, now I'm just going to go ahead and stamp the Halloween on the bottom here. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and add this little spider. So first I'm going to stamp out the little web part. And then I'm going to go back and stamp out the little spider image. That's like one of my favorite little um, like accessories or elements that's included in this set. I think it's so cute. And I even used it on uh, the Halloween card that I made. I just love it so much. Okay, now that the stamping's all done, I'm going to go ahead and start assembly. So first I'm going to go ahead and just adhere them all together and then I'm going to add the images on after. So I'm using my ATG gun here and um, the type of 
um, adhesive that I have in this ATG gun is actually like a really strong permanent adhesive so I would definitely recommend that especially for um, a watercolor paper such as this that's really thick you, you would need something that's really strong and I think that looks so cute and you could either leave them flat like this um, and then you know give them away or save them until Halloween is actually here um, or you could just go ahead and get them like filled up and assembled just like this either way is fine I just love these pillow boxes so much I think this is such a great addition to the collection and that's the pillow box I hope you enjoyed this so much and I look forward to seeing your creations in the Flickr group